Greetings, my name is Jake. Welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold Randomized Nuzlocke. So, I have trained up a new team member to replace our dearly departed Spicy Wings. And it's Snuggle Bun. So, here's how Snuggle Bun is looking. And the reason I did this is I really like the fire type coverage of. Um, Spicy wings. <laughs> I, I know words. Um, and Nine Tails has pretty good stats, but access to nasty plot. So, um, my so Snuggle Button actually has really good IVs. Uh, something like twenty HP, twenty four attack and defense. Uh, it's like nine, only nine uh, special attack, which is unfortunate. Um, only 12 special defense, which is unfortunate, and only 7 speed, which is unfortunate. But that's, overall, that's that's pretty damn good. So, um, in terms of tankiness, uh, or in terms of defenses, she's on par with Water Doggo. Obviously has a lot less HP, but no one's as tanky as Water Doggo. So, significantly faster. Very much going to make use of that, and... Um, her job is to set up one nasty plot and sweep as best she can. Um, cause like, how is, like her special attack is nothing as compared with Peeping Mom, but she's actually faster than, well, she's a couple levels higher than Peeper, Peeping Mom, but you know, comparably fast. So I think she's going to make a good team. Um, ideally I would have put energy ball on her instead of dark pulse. Um, but that involves, uh, going through battle frontier, which uh, I find boring, and I'll s so getting battle points in Battle Frontier is either going to be boring for me or risky for me, um, and neither of those options it, within a Nuzlocke rules that that, that is. Um, I guess I could use you know since retired teammates, but that doesn't feel right. So I, I've I've deliberately avoided um, that sort of stuff. So not an ideal move set, but uh, I think she'll make use of it. Um, today, as you can tell from the title, all legendaries must die. That is one of the uh, parts of a Nuzlocke challenge that, that I really like. Uh, I do have to say that there are three that I'm aware of. Well, excluding event Pokemon, um, there's three or four, depending on how you count, that uh, will not be in this episode at the very least. And um, two of those will not be in the series full stop. Um, the wandering Pokemon... Um, Raikou and Latius? I think it's Latty. Yes. Yes. Um, they are very annoying to track down, so I will defeat them uh, for between uh, for next episode. But uh, I, I don't. I don't have time this time. Um, the other one is, I believe, it's Groudon in Heart Gold. Uh, it's it's probably it's. There's uh, one of Groudon and Kyogre in um, Heart Gold and Soul Silver for each. I don't remember which is which. Uh, you can only get access to them after defeating Red, and you actually have to do some other stuff as well. Um, I'm considering Red the final challenge of this run, and yeah. So they are excluded. Um, you also get Ray you can also fight Rayquaza in the same spot after you've beaten the respective um, weather Pokemon and gotten um, both the red and blue orbs. Anyway, so uh, those are the exceptions to the rule at the very least for today. But we are back in Cerulean because I believe it is up this way that we can have our final encounter with um, Suicune. So, let's check that out. Although, I don't want Snuggle Bun up first. Um, I have also given Peeping Mom the choice specs. Um, because I want her to obliterate the things that she comes up against. She's very fast, so... Even though she's very frail, um, if there's a decent chance that we can one-shot something here, um, definitely need to go with that. Uh, just gonna check the other items here. Water Doggo, Citrus Berry is fine. Zoom Lens on Gilded Cock is perfect. Citrus Berry for Polygami is what we want. 
Citrus berry on Margaret Thatcher. Hmm. No, actually, and I want to move these moves around. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna give Margaret Thatcher the wide lens, I think. Um, I've also gotten, as you can see here, all of the um, items from the um, rock climb areas, with the exception of the ones in Mount Silver, because I think we'll take that those on on their own terms. Yeah, so give that to Margaret Thatcher, it's just so her stone edge is up to uh, 88 hit instead of 80. I think that's much nicer. Um... <laughs> now I could go for the the wise glasses, but that's only a five percent boost. I, I'm thinking for uh, Snuggle Bun. Uh, can't go with the choice thing. Um, don't want the Destiny Bond, uh, like that, or Destiny Knot. Sorry. Um, charcoal is an option as well, but again, I think it's only 10%, which is not that significant of a bonus. I think instead... I think I'm just gonna go on the safe side and give her a citrus berry. Um, not use... fuck. Because ideally she's gonna set up, she might take some damage, hopefully it's... well, hopefully it's less than half, but then she has the option for uh, hitting twice. Anyway, now am I correct? Yes, I am. So, the other two, um, what are they called? The legendary beasts? Legendary dogs? I don't remember. Um, they are not randomized. I'm guessing that's because they're wandering. But I, I'm i hoping that Suicune is randomized because the legendaries should be randomized. Shut up, go away. Okay, let's see what it is. Wait, is that one of the Gigases? The Reggies? Ooh. Okay. What do you have, my friend? So you know, ancient power, superpower, curse, and metal claw. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. What am I gonna do against this? Uh. And also it's bulky as fuck. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go with Polygamy because he'll resist Metal Claw. Um, Superpower, I think, is the one that lowers attack after use. So if he goes for that, then it'll be resisted. Um, curse would be unfortunate, though. But that's what I'm gonna go with. Okay, now it's all good. Oh, that does nothing. Okay. I'm not gonna go for a belly drum. I don't think that's necessary. I think we'll just go for a wake up slap. Yeah, there we go. Wait, how's that not very. Oh, oh, you got the Omni Boost. Well, that's fun. Uh, you might outspeed now. No, okay. All right.
It really wasn't that hard, dude. But you're stupid, so I don't expect you to understand. Anyway, that's one down. That's going to be one of the easier ones. Most of the legendaries are level 50. Um, so next one will probably be Zapdos over by the power plant. <laughs> I was about to say, and there they are. But no, we have to take one more run away here. Okay. It's kind of unceremonious that Zapdos is just here, but eh, it's a nice callback to um, whatchamacallit it? Well, the blue and red games and the uh, fire that red and leaf green. Anyway, Zapdos, what you got for me? What the hell noise is that? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Dialga. Okay. So it does know Roar of Time. It knows Flash. It knows fucking Aura Sphere. God damn it! And Earth Power. F fuck. This might be bad. <laughs> um. Oops, sorry. I just adjusted my window. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Okay. Okay. So. So Gilded Cock is the only one that will resist Roar of Time. Which is bad. Because um, I think Roar of Time is really powerful. Yeah, it's 150 power. It's basically a dragon type hyper beam. <sighs> now, Dialga isn't going to go for Aura Sphere this turn. Flash Cannon Earth Power would be bad as well. But I think it's going to go for Roar of Time, in which case Gilded Cock is the best option that I have. Oh, this is unfortunate. No, went for... Oh, that's bad, though, because now it could go for Earth Power. That did a lot. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Because how much, how much does Flash Cannon do? Flash Cannon is... Um... Flash Cannon is 80, so that's boosted up to 120 with Stab. Now, Earth Power is 90. Uh, so that gets boosted to one... Is it 90? Yeah, it's 90. So that gets boosted up to 180 with um, the effectiveness on Gilded Cock. So if an 80 power move, taking into the fact that Gilded Cock resisted it, did 43 damage... Well, let's see. So 180 divided by... What did I say that was? Uh, 60. So it's three times that. So... Um, if... Flash Cannon did... 42 hit points, then we can expect that Earth Power will do 128. Meaning, if it high rolls... Gilded Cock could go down. Um. Or if it crits. Um. No, that's not what I think it is. 
No. No, there's nothing that prevents critical hits, so... Now, I do have a Pokémon that is immune to ground-type moves, Peeping Mom, but if Dialga goes for anything other than Earth Power... Well, not anything other. Oh, it has Aura Sphere as well. Aura Sphere... This is unfortunate. Okay, let's, let's see here. So... Flash Cannon has 10 PP. Roar of Time has 5. Earth Power, I think, has 10 as well. I could... stall it. Um... Yeah, Earth Power has 10. What about Aura Sphere? I was not prepared for this. <laughs> Aura Sphere has 20, which is unfortunate. Um, I'm gonna try this. Yeah, so now it goes for Levitate. So now it'll go for either Flash Cannon or Roar of Time. Or it'll go for Aura Sphere. Why did it go for Aura Sphere? Uh, what do I do? What if I go for Water Doggo? Because anything it can throw at me is not effective against Water Doggo. I think that's a better staller than Gilded Cock in this instance. Yeah, it goes for Earth Power, that's fine. Oh my god. Oh, that was a crit. Okay. If that's a crit, and that's 90 power, so... Sorry, there's a lot of math in this episode. So, 243 minus uh, 137. So that's 106 damage. Now, if that's on Aura Sphere. No, no, that was Earth Power. And a crit effectively doubles it, so that was 180. So that means that Roar of. Oh, no, Roar of Time is stat. Shit, I forgot about that. Um. That means Roar of Time will do about 133. So I do need to heal. No, it's going for Aura Sphere. Now, I cannot survive a Roar of Time crit. That is the worst case scenario. Um, Surf is my best... No, Surf is not my best option here because it's part dragon. So... The only neutral move I have is Ice Beam. Okay. And, of course, this thing has pressure. That was more damage than I was expecting. So... 
Don't go for a roar of time, and we're good. Went for earth power. Okay. That gives me the citrus berry, which doesn't... Mm, oh, yes, it does. Yeah, that, that takes me out of roar of time non-crit range. Okay. Okay! And it went for flash cannon. That's interesting. Does... do... Do legendary Pokemon not have the smart AI? If they don't, that's interesting. Uh, heal up. Uh, no, don't heal kill the dog. Heal water, heal water doggo. Okay. 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 Earth power. Does it not know roar of time? Do I? No, I don't think I have wrong information here. Okay, so as long as it's not a roar of time crit, we should be good. Flash cannon. Excellent. And that was a crit. Okay, so if it had been Roar of Time, Water Doggo would have died, which is fabulous. Oh, okay. Who the fuck is Tanner? Oh, he's the dude who gives you evolutionary stones. Okay. <sighs> uh, who's next? I think next is Articuno in what's it called? Um, Seafoam Islands. So once I'm getting done getting through all these fucking wild encounters, I will see you there. So, if that battle showed me anything, it is that my team is a little... This is the wrong way. <laughs> my team is a little unprepared for level 50 legendaries, which is unfortunate because I was hoping to take down... Um, uh, what's it called? Um, Lugia. I was hoping to take on Lugia today. Um, but... Luki is level 70, and I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Uh, thankfully, we already beat these trainers, but uh, anyway, it, when I run into uh, random encounters, I will fight them. Um, I'm not going to make you see... Well, hello. Um, I'm not going to make you watch all of them. Um, but I will probably speed it up so that you can still see everything.
Right, well that was really embarrassing, but... <laughs> uh, the next time anyone, like, says anything complimentary about me, especially in regards to my intelligence, I'm just gonna think of that moment. <laughs> That, that long stretch of time where I was struggling to figure out a puzzle for in a children, a puzzle in a children's game. Anyway, I hope you're not a dragon type or a steel type. That'd be annoying. Oh my god, is that actually Zapdos? Okay. That's an interesting twist. So, Zapdos knows Discharge, Agility, Charge, and Ancient Power. Well, I have someone for you, then. I have Miss Gilded Cock for you. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna work. Go ahead and make yourself faster. Doesn't, uh, not gonna do you much good. <laughs> uh, getting the speed proc on that is funny. Well, that was significantly easier. Um, oh god, this is this is gonna take longer than I expected, just because I'm so stupid. <laughs> okay, here we are in Mount Silver, um, and I think. I think, I think the plan's gonna change a little bit, and I'm just gonna super repel my way all the way to Moltres. And then I think next episode... Oh. Um, I think that next episode... Well, next episode I was planning to take on Red, but now this is taking so long that getting to... Well, it's also demonstrated that I am not at all ready for Lugia, no matter what Lugia turns into. Um... So, I think next episode is going to be a montage episode. I think it's going to be me going through all the trainers I've missed, going th and just leveling up, leveling up my team um, in order to prepare, prepare not only for Lugia, but for Red as well. Um, and then episode after that will be it's probably hitting stuff around here do I really care I do um, uh, so the episode after that will be Lugia and red um, yes this is progress okay good So, here's a fun story. Uh, the path you saw me taking last time, that is not the way to Moltres' chamber. You have to go um, up the waterfalls and across uh, various rocks. So, that's fun, right? <laughs> oh dear, I'm very concerned about what this is, but oops, hello. Here we go. Is that Rayquaza? No, it's Giratina. Okay. So, that's gonna know Shadow Force, Shadow Claw, Aura Sphere, and Earth Power, because of course it does. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> So, I 
I wonder if Peeping Mom can one-shot this. So I'm going to run some calculations and see if she can. Okay, so after reviewing the numbers, it is unlikely that Peeping Mom can one-shot. Now that's a little unfortunate because this is yet another dragon type. Um, and it once again has Aura Sphere and Earth Power. Uh, I think Water Taco is the best chance I have. Oh god, what would I do without you? It went for Earth Power. What the fuck? Um... Okay. Oh, <gasps> you're kidding. Well, this just got easy. All those times I have used Ice Beam and I have not gotten a freeze and I get it now. That's... That's impressive. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. That is... Three legendaries down. Um, there's still Lugia and the two roving Pokemon to go. But as I said, I think that's enough for today. I've been recording for uh, about an hour and 20 minutes now. Um, which I think is more than... I don't know how long this is going to be once I edit everything down. But as I said, uh, next time is going to be a training montage. Uh, feel free to skip it if you are not interested. Um, well, not montage. Uh, time lapse. Um, yeah, feel free to skip it if you're not interested. Um, the end result is I'm going to evolve all my Pokemon up to, I think, level 70. Um, I think that'll be good for both Lugia and for Red. Um, Red's Pokemon are in the level 80, so I am risking it a little bit, but I think that little element of uh, risk is uh, what's going to make it very interesting. Plus, I'll have uh, plenty of items, so anything that is in one shot will um, do just f uh, won't will be just fine. Um, yeah. So, really, <laughs> I just want to make it back to Victory Road, you flying cotton shit ball. Okay, I'm going to end it here. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. My name is Jake. This has been Pokemon Heart Gold or Randomized Nuzlocke. Have a good one.